Hey guys, Rio here, and welcome back to another hashtag daily tut daily tutorial here on T God Designs. Um, today I'm going to be going over something pretty specific. Um, <clears throat> I'm using uh, shape layer repeaters to create an alpha slash transparency placeholder. Uh, this is really helpful for, especially for those of us uh, who make intros, or I guess um, outros to, or, or text overlays, anything of that nature that that may have a transparent background. Uh, when you go to upload to video, uh, uh, upload to video. When you go to upload to YouTube, uh, and you want to kind of showcase it and share it with everyone, hey, this is something I made. Um, you don't want it to just be like a black background. Uh, it won't really do. Uh, your whatever you're showcasing any justice because you want people to see that hey yeah this is a transparent background and it's meant to be overlaid on a video kind of like uh, kind of like this kind of uh, like the intro I recently made um, so uh, that's just kind of that and you know you can see that when it slices over um, it reveals the alpha placeholder slash transparent placeholder uh, stuff like that. Um, you probably see a lot of people using the same thing. Uh, this is how I created mine. It's kind of like a diagonal checkerboard um, with it kind of like diagonal squares and I have them animating um, going off the off like positionally being animated. Um, so I'm just gonna really quickly go over that. Um, of course you can just take a screen cap of after effects inbuilt uh, transparency grid and put it behind your video and your editing program but um, there's something really nice about having an animated um, thing that's just yours um, so you know try to make yours a little bit different than mine I'm, I mean you know obviously it's a square it's like a it's like a series of squares like I can't say that it's mine you know <laughs> but uh, try to put your own twist on it or at least uh, choose like different fonts for like the alpha text or whatever um, but you know I trust you guys to obviously uh, do what you're gonna do with uh, the best interest of keeping your stuff unique in mind so I'm obviously not gonna come after you but I'd appreciate you guys making an effort to keep things a little bit spicy uh, maybe changing the colors up a little bit who knows uh, I can't enforce it but there you go um, so I'm gonna turn off showing transparency um, in Adobe After Effects uh, by clicking a little show transparency button at the bottom of the um, preview panel and that's basically just because um, we're gonna be creating our own transparency grid of some sorts so uh, showing After Effects inbuilt transparency grid might get a little confusing um, so the first thing we're gonna do is make a new composition um, I've made mine 1920 by 1080 60 frames per second I've named it main comp and uh, it's gonna be about 30 seconds um, because I don't think I'm gonna have any projects that are longer than 30 seconds um, that will need the placeholder to be longer than that. <clears throat> okay, and now that I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and go to our shape layer tool and uh, go ahead and double or click and hold on it and go to the rectangle tool, then double click on it to create a rectangle the size of our comp. Then I'm gonna twirl down into our rectangle here in the shape layer contents and then I'm gonna change the path size down to zero and then back up to 100. And that'll make sure that it's in a perfect square instead of the 16 by nine aspect ratio of the uh, main composition. Okay. And now that we got uh, like a rectangle that's a size 100, I'm gonna go ahead and fill it with a nice white. Um, that'll be our white checker. And then I'm gonna name this white and then I'm gonna create a new one by closing this and duplicating it with Control D. I'm gonna hit enter on this to rename it. I'm gonna name this gray. I'm not sure if in the Americas we spell it gray with an A or an E, but I spell it with an E. <laughs> I don't know why. I think that's a regional thing. At least I hope it is. Otherwise now I'm gonna sound like an idiot, but, um, and I'm gonna go to fill and just do a really slight gray, like a slightly light gray, just barely. And then what I'm gonna do is go down to the transform of this gray and um, just move it positionally off 100, 100 in the X direction. And that will go ahead and put it directly adjacent to our white square. And now all we have to do is um, close this out. I'm gonna click on contents and then add a new group, an empty group. I'm gonna name this uh, squares, um, square, oh squares 
and then I'm gonna cl click and control click both of these and then drop them into the squares thing. Okay, now um, when we twirl down the squares, I'm gonna open the transform squares and then just kind of move, uh, oop, I'm going to, oh, what am I gonna do here? I'm going to add a new repeater to this. So I'm gonna click on squares and then add a repeater and uh, make sure your repeater is under both, uh, underneath both of the, both of the two, which my columns, um, underneath both of the squares. And then I went over repeaters in my previous tutorial yesterday, um, so go ahead and check that out. Uh, if you get anywhere lost in the repeater section of this, I'll have it linked in the end screen, or yeah, end screen of this uh, tutorial. Um, as well as in the description. Uh, so I'm gonna open up the repeater here and I'm going to set the copies to something like, let's say 30, and then I'm gonna set the offset to negative 15. Um, just because uh, setting it to negative the number of copy or negative one half of the copies will make sure that um, it's centered and it repeats off in both directions as opposed to just repeating off into one direction. Like if I set to zero here, you'll see it just repeats off into the positive x direction. So I'm set negative 15. And my magnification program is like jumping all over the place. But hopefully you can see that. Um, and I'm going to change the repeater transformation to offsetting by 200 because we have two 100 uh, width squares. So offsetting it by 200 will make sure that it gets a, a nice... Um, pattern with no um, no gaps in it and then now we've done that I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate our repeater and since the first repeater repeated it off um, horizontally we're gonna have the second repeater um, repeat it off vertically so instead of uh, position going off in the in the horizontal direction I'm gonna make it go um, by 100 right because uh, it's only one uh, one square tall, 100, and then there you go. And we're gonna have to offset the um, x position by 100 as well. So 100, 100, and that will give us our nice checkerboard pattern. Perfect. We're almost there. Um, now all we have to do is close this repeater and then go to the squares transform, and then uh, rotate it by 90 degrees, or not 90, sorry, uh, 45. And that will give us our diagonal squares and as you can see very nice and we can animate the position um, to go off to the and and animate accordingly so I'm gonna zoom out here and of course you go you can go into these shapes and change the fill colors so I'm gonna make mine a little bit more of a slight gray like that so it's just barely barely gray and um, you can, of course, change the size by going here to scale. Changing that. You may want to up your copies. Uh, turn up your copies in your repeaters. So if you want to create squares that are super small. Um, but I like mine big. Um, or at least decently big. So I'm going to go ahead and change the number of um, copies. So I'm going to set it to uh, probably 75. And then... Or actually, let me make it an even number so I can set the offset accordingly. So 60, and then the offset will be negative 30. And then I'll do the same for the second repeater. So 60 and negative 30 for the offset. Okay, and now all we have to do is just go to the position of the transform squares and uh, just animate that um, starting at frame 0. I'm going to go ahead and click the stopwatch and then go to the very, very end of our composition at 30 seconds and just move that guy over. Um, move him over way, way over. And then you'll see that we have it. It's animated now. All right, so that's the checkerboard pattern. So I'm gonna name this checkerboard. And now all you have to do is just um, add some text saying alpha or whatever you want. Um, the font that I'm using is American Captain. Choose your own font if you want, I don't know. Um, that This isn't the font that I have in mind, but 
you can use. I, I actually really like like traditional um, aerial. <laughs> like, oh, ooh, what is this? Alien League. Hey, didn't even know I had this font. All right, I'll use that. Why not? Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and align it to the center of the composition. And there you go. Ch probably change the the color just so it's just barely barely visible. Maybe added like a drop shadow to it. Maybe like a 2D 2D flat shadow um, to like the text. Who knows? Just do some crazy stuff. Just go go wild with it. <laughs> go wild with it. I don't know, man. Do some crazy stuff. Make it your own, um, and be a baller. Be a shot caller, all that, all that jazz, and that's how you create an alpha placeholder. Now you just render it out, and in your editing program, place it underneath whatever you've been working on, an intro, an overlay, text overlays, whatever, and then you should be good to rumble. Um, and you can obviously apply effects to your checkerboard like anything other. You can apply like I don't know why you would want to, but you can add like a fast blur, so fast fast blur to it um, yet again I don't know why you would do this but you can like I'm just showing you you can do whatever you want with it make it your own um, so yeah that's pretty much how to make an alpha placeholder in Adobe After Effects hope this tutorial served you well provided some information that you needed uh, if it did help you I would appreciate you guys like leaving a like on this video um, just basically lets me know that you found it useful and um, helps it get out to more people that may also find it useful and if you have a friend that uses after effects and does stuff similar to what you do uh, make sure to go ahead and drop them a link as well to this tutorial because um, chances are if you enjoyed it they'll probably get something out of it as well uh, so yeah I think that's I mean I think that's it for me rambling off I usually I, I'm, I'm like notoriously bad for ending off tutorials so I'll just I'll just make this quick <laughs> um but yeah uh, of of course go ahead and uh have a nice day take it easy and i'll see you tomorrow for another tutorial all right guys peace